Ella was a young elephant. She lived in the savanna. Ella was very curious. She loved to explore. One day, Ella heard about a special waterhole. It was said to be hidden amongst acacia trees. The water sparkled like a thousand stars. Ella dreamed of finding it. The waterhole was very far. It was a long and difficult journey, but Ella was determined to go. She knew it would be an amazing adventure. And so, Ella's big dream began to take shape in her heart, setting the stage for an unforgettable adventure. Ella had a best friend named Tico. Tico was a playful elephant calf. He loved to follow Ella everywhere. Tico, will you come with me? We are going to find the special water hole. Tico was excited. He wagged his little trunk. Yes, Ella, let's go, he trumpeted. And so Ella and Tico set off. They walked through the tall grass. The sun shone brightly above them. The adventure had begun. As they walked, Ella and Tico met a zebra named Zara. Zara had beautiful black and white stripes. She was very wise and knew the savannah well. Hello, Zara. We are looking for the special waterhole. Can you help us? Zara smiled. The journey is long, little ones. Follow the setting sun. It will lead you in the right direction. Ella and Tico thanked Zara. They continued on their way, following the setting sun. They were grateful for Zara's help. The next day, Ella and Tico came across a clearing. In the middle lay a majestic lion. It was Leo, the king of the savannah. Tico was scared, but Ella bravely stepped forward. Excuse me, King Leo, she said. We are trying to find the special water hole. Can you guide us? Leo narrowed his eyes, then let out a deep chuckle. The water hole you seek is special indeed. Remember, little ones, he rumbled. The greatest treasures are often found by helping others along the way. Ella and Tico were puzzled, but took Leo's words to heart. They continued their journey, wondering what the king meant. After many days of wandering through the vast savannah, Ella and Tico saw something shimmering in the distance. Their hearts filled with hope and curiosity as they squinted to get a better look. Tico, do you see that? What could it be? It looks so bright and inviting. As they got closer, their excitement grew. They couldn't believe their eyes. The journey had been long and arduous, but this sight made it all worthwhile. It was the special water hole they had heard about in stories, a place of legend and wonder. Wow, Ella, look at the water. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. It sparkles like a thousand diamonds. I've never seen anything like it. The water sparkled like a thousand diamonds, reflecting the bright sunlight and creating a mesmerizing display. Lush green plants grew around it, adding to the oasis's enchanting beauty. The vibrant greenery was a stark contrast to the dry savannah they had traversed. Colorful birds sang sweetly in the trees, their melodies filling the air with a sense of peace and tranquility. It was even more beautiful than they imagined. The picturesque scene was like a dream come true for Ella and Tico. This is amazing, Tico. We finally found it. All our hard work and perseverance have paid off. Yes, Ella. This is the place we've been searching for. It's everything we hoped for and more. The long journey was worth it. Every step, every challenge led us to this moment of pure joy and satisfaction. Ella and Tico trumpeted with joy, their triumphant calls echoing across the savannah. They had finally reached their destination. They had finally found it. The oasis was a symbol of hope and renewal, a place where dreams came true. The long journey was worth it. Their tired bodies were rejuvenated by the sight and sounds of the oasis, and they knew they had found a new home. The waterhole was a bustling place, teeming with life and energy. Animals of all shapes and sizes came to drink and bathe, creating a lively and vibrant scene. There were giraffes stretching their long necks, zebras with their striking stripes and graceful antelopes, and even a grumpy-looking warthog who seemed to be in a perpetual bad mood. Look, Tico, so many animals. It's like a big family gathering. Let's go make some new friends, Ella. I bet they have amazing stories to share. Ella and Tico eagerly approached the other animals and soon made many new friends. They splashed in the cool, refreshing water, feeling the joy of the moment. They shared stories and laughter, bonding over their adventures and experiences, 
Everyone was happy to be at the special waterhole, a place of unity and happiness. Welcome, Ella and Tico. We're so glad you could join us. Join us in the fun. There's plenty of water and joy to go around. Water isn't just for drinking, Tico. It's for playing and making memories too. It's a source of life and joy for everyone in the savannah, bringing us all together. You're right, Ella, this is wonderful. I never knew water could be so much fun. Ella and Tico realized that water wasn't just for drinking. It was a place to connect, to play, and to find joy. It was a source of life and joy for everyone in the savannah, a true treasure in their world. As much fun as they were having, Ella and Tico never forgot about their journey. They learned so much along the way. They learned about the importance of water. They learned how to navigate the savannah. But most importantly, they learned the value of friendship and teamwork. We found the special waterhole, Tico. But the journey was just as special, wasn't it? Yes, Ella. We helped each other and we made new friends along the way. They learned so much along the way. They learned about the importance of water. They learned how to navigate the savannah. But most importantly, they learned the value of friendship and teamwork. Ella and Tico spent many happy days at the waterhole. They would splash around in the cool water, feeling the refreshing waves against their skin. The waterhole was a place of joy and laughter where they could forget all their worries. They played with their new friends, forming bonds that would last a lifetime. The other animals at the waterhole welcomed them with open arms, and soon they were all like one big family. Ella and Tico also took time to enjoy the beauty of their surroundings. The vast savanna stretched out before them, a canvas painted with the colors of nature. They marveled at the golden grasses swaying in the breeze and the distant mountains that seemed to touch the sky. They knew they would never forget their adventure. Every moment was etched in their hearts, from the playful splashes to the quiet moments of rest under the shade of a tree. It taught them that the real treasure was not just the destination, but the journey itself. Each step they took was filled with wonder and excitement, and the friends they made along the way were the true gems of their adventure. They realized that the bonds they formed were more precious than any treasure they could find. Tico, these days have been so wonderful. Every moment spent here has been a gift. I can't wait to tell everyone back home. They'll be so excited to hear about our adventures and the amazing friends we've made. Me too, Ella. Sharing our stories will keep these memories alive forever. Adventures are always better when shared with friends. The joy multiplies and the memories become even more special. And so Ella and Tico returned home, their hearts full of joy and their spirits lifted. They had experienced something truly magical. Their minds were full of wonderful memories, each one a treasure they would cherish forever. They couldn't wait to share their story with everyone. The tales of their adventures would inspire others to seek their own journeys. Because adventures are always better when shared with friends. The bonds formed and the memories created are the true treasures of any journey.